No, we have. It's like anything else. We've had some bad ones and we had some really good ones. We had some wheat that right at 100 bushel one time. Dry land. That hadn't been too many years ago. It's been pretty good the last couple of years. Yeah. And we had some where you just needed one truck and it only held 250 bushel and you cut 80 acres took it to town hoped it was full. And you get the good with the bad out here and it's a kind of tough year this year. Todd Davis, product specialist with Agco, uh, cover cleaner combines and everything red as far as Massey Ferguson goes. The connection here today is my Uncle Larry. Um, they asked me to get the combine ready so we get to go harvest this year. The combine's been parked for two years. It took us about, I don't know, three, four hours to get it going. Had to put new batteries and all that good stuff in there. And finally got it done and uh, he cut his you know, last 13 acres today. Well, I took over when I was 19. When I really, my dad got sick. My older brother was here farming, and I kind of wanted to farm. He said, Well, he wanted to go to college. That was the year that Colby College started, 65 or 66. And uh, so I was down to four days. So then I come home. Been here since. Grew up, you know, out here, you know, all of us cousins, we play in the ground bales all around the place. A lot of memories out here as far as growing up. And Larry's always had a cleaner combine that I remember. It had an L3, I think it was an M2 before that, then an L3, now this R62. And it's just always been cleaner. And when I was the service manager at LDI, and Colby, you know, I'd always come out and help Larry work on his combines as well, you know. Just a lot of memories coming out here as a kid, but you know, as in the you know, adult life, working on combines, but especially for the family farm.